Good evening. I am speaking to you tonight from the, from the Church of St. Cain and Abel's on Hampton Heath. Now, as you may well be aware, Cain and Abel and Hampton Heath are in fact copyright slang. Cain and Abel means table and Hampton Heath means teeth. We are glad to welcome here tonight a large group of copy worshippers, and it is them to whom I wish to address my, I wish to address my sermon. I would like to tell you a story. A long time ago, in the days of the Israelites, there lived a poor man. He had no trouble and strife, for he had run off with a tea some years before. So now he lived alone with his eldest bricks and mortar, Mary. And being very short of bees and honey, unable to pay the burden on Trent, he was tempted to go forth into the Bristol city to see what he could half edge. <laughs> He would say to his bricks and mortar, I will take a ball of chalk into town and purchase some tobacco for my cherry ride. And he would put on his armored rocks and his sticky dirt and his round the houses and set forth to the outskirts of Bristol. And alas, he was an ugly man. His, his, his north and south drooped, his mince pies watery, he had a big red eye to pose. His sticky dirt was rather tattered and torn, his weasel was still extremely Westminster Abbey. And because he was too poor to afford any hope, because he was too poor to afford any hope, of hope his bushel effect was very too certain. And, and people used to give him a wide berth to avoid them to avoid the pin and ink. <laughs> One day his prison mortar said to him, Here is a saucepan lid, go and buy food, a loaf of Uncle Fred and a pound of standard ease. And do not tarry in the town, but bring me back what is left of the money. I wish to purchase some new early doors. My current ones are full of pools. I'm going to continue with George Raft. But instead of returning with the bees and honey for his bricks and mortar's early doors, the man made his way to the rubber up for a tumble down the sink. And he, and he became very elegant, drunk, and Mozart. When the landlord of the, the rubber dub called Bird Lime, the man made his way back to, to, towards his cat and mouse, reeling about all over the frog and toad, wishing a good evening to the lamppost, and drunkenly humming a stewed prune. And it came to cover past that as he staggered along, he saw a small brown Richard III lying on the pavement. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he, stared at, he, he stared at it, lying there at his place of meat. He said, Oh, small brown Richard III, how lucky it is to step on you. And then he picked it up and put it up on top of a wall where nobody could step on it. A rich four by two merchant who witnessed the deed said to the man, Oi, bay, I saw you pick out that Richard III and remove, remove, remove it from the pavement. That was a cardiac. Take this, your frog and bubble, and reaching into his sky rocket, he pulled out a lady diver. <clears throat> the man went on, the man went on his way, the Richard III flew back to his nest. <laughs> when, when the man arrived home, he found his, his bricks of water sitting by the Jeremiah on her favourite London Blair. And he said to her, Look, here is a, a lady cadaver which I heard through a kindly act. And the woman was overjoyed. Thank you, Father. Now I can, can, I, now I can have a new pair of early doors. I can have a drink to the man, verily that kindly act as it shows that they both have more than enough cover.